MJ. Hey, just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Plants in a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I know Norman, I think. Peter! <laughs> I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, we might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city and of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? <laughs> 